Hydroxylation Acid Metabolism Pathway Carbon dioxide metabolism in succulents is unusual and was first reported in members of the Crassulaceae. So it is called Crassulation Acid Metabolism, CAM. CAM has been found in 20 families, including the familiar Cactaceae, Orchidaceae, and Euphobaceae. Species with CAM usually lack a well-developed palisade layer of cells. And most of the leaf or stem cells are made up of spongy mesophyll. Bundle sheath cells are quite similar to the mesophyll cells. CAM plant's most striking metabolic feature is the formation of malic acid at night and its disappearance during daylight. The most abundant acid in CAM plants is malic and citric acids. PEP carboxylase in the cytosol of CAM plants is the enzyme responsible for carbon dioxide, fixation into malate at night, in contrast to its ion activity in C4 plants in darkness. Rubisco becomes active during daylight, to fix the carbon dioxide lost from organic acids such as malic. During darkness, starch breaks down by glycolysis as to PEP and bicarbonate. PEP reacts to form oxalocetate. Oxalocetate is reduced to malate by NADH-dependent malate dehydrogenase. Most malate is pumped and stored in the vacuole as malic acid until daybreak. During daylight, malic acid diffuses passively out of the vacuole and is decarboxylated by one of the three mechanisms. The mechanism employed depends on the species. 1. Malate forming oxalocetate, carbon dioxide and pi ore. 2. Malate is converted to pyruvate and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide released by each of the three decarboxylation reactions is fixed by Rubisco into 3 PGA of the Calvin cycle, forming sucrose and starch. Pyruvate formed by decarboxylation is converted to PEP and phosphate as in C4 plants. PEP is then partly respired and partly converted to sugars and starch by reverse glycolysis, while some are converted to amino acids, proteins and nucleic acids. Thus CAM plants, like C4 plants, use PEP carboxylase to form malate and later decarboxylate the malate to release carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is taken into the Calvin cycle using Rubisco. In CAM plants both processes occur in the same cells, one process at night and the other in daylight, large central vacuole stores malic acid that would otherwise cause low cytoplasmic pH at night. The low permeability of the tonoplast to H ion resulting from malic acid in the vacuole must be important in CAM plants because the vacuole pH often becomes as low as 4 at night. An interesting question is what causes Rubisco and not PEP carboxylase to fix carbon dioxide in CAM plants during daylight. When both the enzymes are present, having equal affinities for the dissolved form of carbon dioxide. The cytosol location of PEP carboxylase should allow it to encounter incoming carbon dioxide before it reaches Rubisco in the chloroplast. Part of the answer is that CAM plants convert their PEP carboxylase from an active to an inactive form during daylight. Their inactive form present during daylight has less affinity for PEP and is inhibited by the malate released from the vacuole. The active form has a higher affinity for PEP and is less inhibited by the malate formed at night.
Although the ability of a plant to perform CAM is genetically determined, it is also environmentally controlled. Environment control, in general, CAM is favored by hot days with high light levels, cool nights, and dry soils, which predominate in deserts. High salt concentrations in soils that lead to osmotic drought also favor CAM. Several CAM plants switch to a greater rate of carbon dioxide, fixation in daylight by C3 photosynthetic mode after a rainstorm or when night temperatures are high. Stomates then remain open longer during morning daylight hours. These facts suggest that evolution for CAM is favored only by water stress. CAM also occurs in some underwater angiosperms living in shallow ponds or oligotrophic lakes in which carbon dioxide levels are lower during daylight than at night. CAM in such species suggests that this process has also been selected for bidiurnal changes in carbon dioxide availability. Finally, CAM can be induced by marked day-night changes in temperatures as in alpine sempervivum species.